there, my name is Sam Clark and welcome to Crimson Education. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the top 10 universities for computer science in the world. These rankings are based on the QS rankings of colleges and universities, which are based on such factors as academic reputation, employer reputation, citations per professor, and the H index. If you wanna learn a bit more about that, you can go to QS's website. But the point being that these are based on an index of a number of factors and are by no means necessarily the definitive rating of what the best computer science schools are in the world. So if you wanna learn more about what the best computer science school for you might be, please click the link below for a free academic consultation consultation with one of our academic experts. According to Oxford University, who could say it way better than I could, computer science is all about learning and understanding the mathematical, scientific, and engineering principles underlying every kind of computing system from mobile phones and the internet via systems that interpret natural language to the supercomputers that forecast tomorrow's weather or simulate the effects of disease on the human heart. What we're going to be talking about is what the best universities in the world are to learn computer science, both at a practical level and also intellectually and theoretically. Let's do it. Number 10 on our list is the National University of Singapore, or NUS. The NUS School of Computing was founded out of the Nanyang University Department of Computer Science, which started in 1975, and it was the first of its kind in Singapore and still the best in Singapore. NUS doesn't just focus on giving its students the practical skills for computer science, for data management, that sort of thing academically. They're also really, really big on connecting their students with entrepreneurial opportunities and mentorship. A big example of this is something which is called the Furnace, which is the startup incubator at NUS, which offers funding, mentorship, uh, and a lot of other fantastic resources and infrastructure so that computer science students can not only learn about CS, but can take their startup ideas from ideation to completion under the mentorship of industry titans. Number nine on our list is ETH Zurich, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, whose computer science program was founded in 1981. There are 30 professors from over 10 countries in the department, teaching more than 1,400 students with 60 postdocs. ETH Zurich is all about collaboration. While they have a lot of ties to the electrical engineering departments and the mathematics department, they're also creating a lot of collaborations recently with other disciplines, including physics, the life sciences, and mechanical engineering, so that computer science students are focused on using their skills and applying them to other sciences to better the world. ETH Zurich also has a lot of connections to big industry players such as IBM, Google, Microsoft, and Disney. Number eight on our list is a school that I'm probably not going to pronounce entirely correctly because I haven't taken French since high school. EPFL, the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne in Switzerland. EPFL is an institute that focuses on the natural sciences and engineering, so naturally it has a lot of great ties for computer science students to collaborate with other students to really benefit the sciences. One of the biggest draws to EPFL isn't just its curriculum and fantastic faculty in the computer science department, but also its internship program, which connects its computer science students to places such as Google, Facebook, uh, Microsoft, who recruit directly on campus and work with EPFL to create fantastic internship opportunities for their students. Courses at EPFL can be taught in French and English. They highly recommend that you know both languages if you're gonna go there. I won't go there for many reasons. One is that I can't speak French. The other is that I don't know computer science. Number seven on our list is Harvard in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Harvard is home to one of the most famous computer science courses in the world known as CS50, Introduction to Computer Science, which is not only taught at Harvard in its world famous Sanders Theater, but is also taught online now to thousands of students all around the world. You might be able to take those classes yourself. A very exciting development at Harvard is that in 2014, the university announced that it was going to expand its computer science faculty by 50%, thanks to an enormous donation by Steve Ballmer, who you might know from his work in being the Microsoft CEO. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Ballmer! Harvard computer science students can know that they are at the forefront of research opportunities in artificial intelligence, computational linguistics, data management uh, systems, and more, especially through collaboration that the computer science department has with such institutes as the Center for Research on Computation and Society, the Institute for Applied Computational Science, and the Berkman Center for Internet and Society. 
Number six on our list is the University of Oxford, whose computer science program only has about 160 undergraduates and has a new degree in computer science and philosophy, which includes an even smaller cohort of students. In addition to Oxford's groundbreaking work at the intersection of computer science and philosophy, they also have a lot of practical partnerships uh, with many institutions, both on the research side and on the internship side. This includes in Intel, Microsoft, as well as government and public funded institutions within the United Kingdom, including the Department of Trade and Industry and the National Health Service. So if you're studying computer science at Oxford, you can guarantee that you'll be working with major companies or with the government of the UK itself on groundbreaking computer science work. Number five is the University of Cambridge. And I'm gonna start with this one with a little plug. If you wanna watch a day in the life of a Cambridge computer science student, uh, watch a day in the life Cambridge computer science student on our channel featuring a fantastic student named Richard No, who's done a lot of work in artificial intelligence and works now with Google. Cambridge was one of the first pioneers in the actual study of computer science and continues to be at the helm, leading the best research in the world on it. This might not be apparent from the beautiful Gothic buildings around Cambridge, but Cambridge is right now in an area known as the Silicon Fen, sort of like Silicon Valley, but more British. There's more than 1,000 specialized computing and advanced technology companies that are sprouting up in the Cambridge area, which means a huge opportunity for computer science students at Cambridge to work with those new developing CS companies. Cambridge not only has a huge emphasis on practical programming skills, but also likes to steer its students towards the underlying theories in business, law, government, and economics, and they love having their students talk about how those theories play out in computer science. Like all other courses at Cambridge, your evaluation if you're studying computer science at Cambridge will be heavily weighted towards assessments and papers taken at the end of term. Number four on our list is the University of California at Berkeley, which is just a short distance from Silicon Valley. The Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department at UC Berkeley offers two distinct degree options for students interested in computer science. You can either get a Bachelor of Science offered by the College of Engineering, or a Bachelor of the Arts in Computer Science, which should be offered by the College of Letters and Science. While the faculty and courses at UC Berkeley are some of the best in the world, perhaps one of the biggest benefits of studying at Berkeley is its close proximity to Silicon Valley. A lot of UC Berkeley graduates um, in computer science go directly into Silicon Valley or even work in Silicon Valley for major tech companies at the same time as they're studying at Berkeley. Number three on our list is Carnegie Mellon University, specifically their School of Computer Science. A lot of exciting work is going on right now at Carnegie Mellon University, which offers fantastic programs for its computer science students and groundbreaking research. And a great example of this is a brand new degree at the CMU School of Computer Science, which is aimed specifically at preparing researchers for AI-directed experimentation. It's called the Master of Science in Automated Science, biological experimentation, and it's going to be beginning in fall of 2019. CMU places a huge emphasis on interdisciplinary majors, such as computer science and the arts, and music and technology. Number two on our list is Stanford University, which is located in Palo Alto, near the heart of Silicon Valley. That's right, Silicon Valley. You can walk from Stanford to Google. I know I said that UC Berkeley was close to the heart of Silicon Valley, but Stanford is too. They're both fantastic schools with some of the best computer science programs in the world, located to the biggest, most exciting tech companies in the world. Stanford's computer science department is housed within its Department of Engineering and has 10 different tracks, including artificial intelligence, human-computer interaction, and biocomputation. Similar to some of the other universities I've discussed today, Stanford places a huge emphasis on interdisciplinary work, making sure that its computer science students are working with other students in areas such as linguistics, genetics, medicine, engineering, and manufacturing. Hey. And number one on our list is a huge shocker, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. The Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department at MIT is the largest department at MIT, and starting salaries for students graduating with a bachelor's degree in computer science from MIT are well over $100,000. MIT's Electrical Engineering and Computer Science program offers five undergraduate degrees at MIT, as well as a master's in engineering, which is available to undergrads. They also recently changed their undergrad degree programs in order to give students more flexibility so they could pursue even more of their own interests. MIT is the cream of the crop. 
So that has been the top 10 computer science universities in the world. As I said at the beginning of this video, these are the QS rankings. And there are many other ways to rank these colleges and universities. And there are many other ways to find the computer science school that is the best fit for you in particular. And if you want to start your journey to finding the school that's the best fit for you, click the link below for a free academic consultation with one of our academic experts. And they'll chat with you and figure out what is the best fit for you. Is it MIT? Is it Stanford? Is it Carnegie Mellon? Is it a university? that you've never even heard of. I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.